In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a custom PHP INI file. Now this PHP INI file contains directives for controlling many PHP settings. You can set up one or multiple custom PHP INI files to define how your website functions. For example, you might have a custom file in your public HTML directory for your website's main pages and a separate custom file in your public HTML images directory for your website's image files. So to set up a custom PHP INI file, you follow these steps. The first is to log into your SSH client. I'm using PuTTY here, but you could use whatever your favorite secure shell client is. I've already taken the time to go ahead and do the login. You would log in with your own information. Uh, but once you're logged in, you can uh, look for one of the template files. And there's a template file, uh, PHP INI, located at uh, if you go to, I'll just show it to you here, the user and the local lib folder. Let me show you there. There is a PHP INI file you can see there. There are also PHP INI files for multiple PHP versions, and that is located at, let me navigate there, opt.php, and I'll stop there and I'll show you, you can see the different versions of PHP. Now you would pick the one you want. I'll just go ahead and pick, uh, let's say PHP uh, 5.4. And then once you're in that directory, you wanna go to the LIB. And you can see there that in the lib folder is uh, the PHP INI. So those are uh, places you can look for the PHP INI template file. I'm gonna go back to my home here. Now what you do is you wanna copy one of those. So you're gonna use one of those files and you're gonna copy it over. I'll do an example here of the one um, from the uh, user local lib folder. So what I will do is I will say, uh, the copy command and then I will say the source location user local oops oh, that's right local lib and then uh, php.ini and then a space and then you would go uh, home and then you put your username here uh, so you would replace uh, what I'm putting here with your username and then I want to put that in the public HTML directory and I want it to be called the same thing, PHP I and I. Okay, so that copied the template from the user local lib folder over to my public HTML folder. Now the next step is I need to uh, make the PHP I and I file I just copied accessible to the web server, but inaccessible to the public. So that I'm gonna have to update some file permissions here. So I'm gonna go into that uh, directory uh, actually, this is kind of overkill. I'm ready here, but uh, you could just do the public HTML. And I should see that PHP INI file there. You can see, I do see the uh, PHP INI file. And then what I want to do is I want to issue a, uh, a chmod command on there. And this is going to change the permissions to the right permissions for this file. So I will change it to 640 and then see which file I want to set the permissions on and now the permissions are set correctly for that file now after you copy the php i and i file and set its permissions you're going to want to verify that this configuration is active and to do this we're going to create a ph uh, sorry a php test file uh, but i'm going to jump over to uh, my c panel to complete that step over there Okay, so now I'm over here in my cPanel. I've already taken the liberty of logging in to save some time, but you would open up your cPanel for your website, log in with your username and password. But once you are logged into your cPanel, you're gonna wanna look for and click the file manager, and that'll open up a listing of the files for your website. You are going to wanna click on the public HTML folder here on the left to show the contents of that folder. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to create a new file. So we're gonna go up to the little plus file here and click that. And it's gonna ask for the new file name and a pretty standard name is phpinfo.php. So go ahead and type that in the new file name box and then click the create new file button. Now once you've done that, you see the file has shown up here, phpinfo.php, I will click there. Now there's nothing in this file yet, so we have to edit the file to add the contents to it. And we go up here, after we've clicked on phpinfo.php, we go up and click the edit 
link up there and then the edit button. And then you can click in the editor that has popped up here and you wanna just click in the blank white space here and we're gonna type some PHP code here. You wanna type this exactly as you see it here and then a space, PHP info, the parentheses, semicolon, and then the ending PHP tag there. You wanna type that code exactly as you see it on the screen and then go over to the right here and hit save changes. And when you see that success message, you can go ahead and close out the editor there. And now the PHP info.php file has the code in it that we need. And we can actually view this file uh, through our browser and see the PHP configuration information. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new tab here. And just to save some time, I've already pasted uh, the website address, but it would be your website forward slash php info dot php and that will bring up the configuration information if you want to verify that you're going off the right php ini file you can go down to the loaded configuration file section and here i'll just kind of highlight it quick but you can see uh, that is the file that we copied in the previous step that php ini file to the public html uh, directory there so it is pulling the correct PHP INI file as I would expect it to there. Uh, one thing to note you can create custom PHP INI files for each directory in your website if you want to but many people configure settings in one PHP INI file and then apply it to the entire website. So to do this we're gonna want to work with the HT access file and we're gonna do that by jumping back over to the file manager here and we're gonna make sure we're still in the public HTML folder there. And if you don't see your HT access file on the screen, which in the, and if you're looking at this, uh, you'd see that I can't see the HT access file. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to go up here to settings and then check the box here for show hidden files and then hit save. And now you can see I can see my HT access file there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit this file kind of like we edited the other one so we're going to click on the HD access file and again hit the edit and again the edit button here and that's going to bring up your uh, HD access file contents you may or may not already have uh, some information in here mine happens to be the blank here so I'm just going to click here and add the line that I want to add so if you want to uh, use the one PHP INI file for the entire website uh, you would add this command to your HD access file. You want to go ahead. The su php and underscore config path. And now what you want to do here is you want to put the path after the space to your uh, the directory that has your PHP ini file in it. So in this case, mine is home, and then it would be your username. I'm going to put my username here, but this would be your username after home, and then public html and then a forward slash so i add that line to my ht access file i'm going to go ahead and hit save changes and then i'm going to hit close and now that is saved to the ht access file okay now just one thing to note here if for this to work what i just did your custom php file must be named php ini you can't use any variation of that name it must be php I and, I. and that is how you set up one or more custom PHP INI files for your website. For more tutorials, visit a2hosting.com forward slash KB.